My name's Jay Parson and I'm a fashion designer. And I like to call them wardrobe classics. I created custom pieces for the Migos, which is a rap group. Sway Lee, Ashanti, Floyd Mayweather, Tory Lanez, Erica Badu. Jay, uh, uh, have fun. Hollywood, baby. This is Forest Still, the area I grew up. Um, it's a bit like a community, to be honest. Everyone knows everyone. Bad guys. Yeah. <laughs> Not even that, like, are they... Nah, just the lost, lost youth, really. Just trying to find their way, I guess. Just like most of us were, um, you know? So it's understandable, but... Um, it's pretty decent around here, to be honest. Um, it's something that I've always been interested in, naturally. I've always dressed for myself, from designing biker jackets and customising them. So that's how I started, really. I was invited to a party. It was a, a rap group called Ray Shrimmed and they had a number one single called Black Beatles. That girl is a real crowd piece. Uh, I must have bumped into the, the lead singer, Sway Lee. And at the time, I was wearing one of my custom biker jacket pieces. He saw the jacket I was wearing and he took a liking to it and he asked um, if he could have one. And I was like, sure. And I was just thinking at the time, what do I have in my wardrobe that I could uh, uh, present to him? Long story short, uh, I brought one of the jackets, but he didn't like it. He liked the one that he saw me wearing. So he ended up uh, taking that jacket off of me. And yeah, he took down my details. So I didn't think anything of it. They gave me this slay ass jacket, man. You know what I'm saying? It's love. It's shrimp like love, man. Whatever they need, bro. But the next day, he wore my jacket for his tour. And I started getting followers and inquiries and I realized that he tagged me in the post where he wore my jacket on his tour in Manchester. And he also wore it for a prettylittlething.com commercial. And that really sparked the idea of creating jackets. I would personally say try everything, you know, everything you can get your hands on, everything you think you could be interested in, just try it. Whether it's music, painting, acting, uh, I've literally uh, went for it all, to be honest. I used to do music, um, done a bit of acting, so I was literally experimenting. And yeah, especially in this new generation, there's so much avenues. Uh, you don't always have to be a footballer or a musician, you know, you can be a barrister. Open up your mind, you know, the opportunities are out there for you. As long as you're willing to make the step, there'll be people there to greet you, 100%. from my phone. I just literally received uh, a message on my Instagram. A potential client was interested in a jacket that I designed for a rap artist called Manny Meeks. That's how it works, you know, everywhere. It's word of mouth and people seeing the jackets on their favorite artists and they, and they want that. I'd say the best thing is the clients and making them happy, you know, and feeling like you added some value to their wardrobe. So that's a great thing. When someone gives you an opportunity, just say yes, because you don't know what you're good at until you try. I see something on TV and I just say, I feel like I can do this as well. So that's that kind of mentality that I have. I feel like I can be good at certain things, then I give it a shot. I like to try things, you know, so it's like tasting uh, new food or something or going to visit a new country. You've got to be open. So, yeah, that's my best advice to anyone that's watching this or trying to do something similar or even different. But just go for it. Say yes. And if you've got the product, then 
you can go places, 100%. So this is Floyd Mayweather wearing one of my pieces. I um, actually designed this for him in 2017. He only actually wore this piece this year, so it actually took him three years to wear the piece, but I saw it as a compliment because it means he actually saved this specific piece. You know, he must receive so much when it comes to fashion and jackets and leather. Has to be Michael Jackson. Jay, only because of you, I found your friend here and he was like thinking of you. Bam. That's why I wear my fedora style hat and I have like baby pictures of me wearing the same style of hat that I wear to this day. I see what's out there and I say to myself, what's missing, if that makes sense. You know how some people like to follow uh, a set um, formula or what they think works, but sometimes they're not being true to themselves. So I just wanted to give something new, but obviously it's still me. I think the best way to be involved is just to get involved and there's no really blueprint in the creative sector. You can uh, go by faith, motivation and raw talent. Create a community full of creatives and everyone just bouncing ideas and opportunities off of each other. So find a community and work from there. Because another thing, you don't want to be around the wrong crowd because that could sway you, you know, talk you out of your ideas and get you on the wrong track. So company is important. Um, a friend was involved in an altercation which he couldn't handle by himself. So I intervened and long story short, I, I got caught in the, the haze of it all. And yeah, I ended up in hospital with multiple wounds, uh, St. Thomas Hospital. And yeah, I then discovered what it feels like to, to be stabbed, I guess. I never thought I'd be in that position, but that was my life at a certain uh, point. And yeah, I had to manoeuvre and just reevaluate certain things, what I want to do in my life, because some people that I knew from when I was growing up, they didn't make it, you know? So that was when I really had to make a decision to follow my dreams and do what's right for me and my family. You have to go through the transition and the most important thing is when you're going through transition is just cutting off dead weight and people that don't serve you no more and people that can't be with you on your new, your new venture or your new journey or chapter. So yeah, that's the main thing that I had to do is change my circle. Because when you change your circle and that's when you start changing your mind and new ideas arise and you know, that's how it works. Do you know what? It's like, it goes back to my music. I wanted to create music that everyone could listen to. Like it doesn't matter from what social group or walk of life you're from. I wanted to make something that was for everyone. Sometimes when you're in the process, you you forget that what you're actually doing. But when I look back now, I'm extremely grateful. And yeah, it just shows like what can be done, you know? Just a bit of self-belief and self-motivation and just yeah just keep going just keep creating